Hello happy believers. This painting is called Soaring. It is a beautiful sight to see a bird soaring across the sky. It is so tranquil, effortless. It makes one feel restful as one's eyes follows it. I have also seen birds flap their wings, just doing what birds do, keeping them flying in the air. And I have seen birds flapping their wings frantically, usually when they are young, learning to fly or fleeing from something. This beautiful sight of a bird soaring reminds me of how scripture can help us to rise above our problems, challenges or obstacles in our lives. In Isaiah 40, 31 it says, But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Reflection To trust in God is a wonderful thing. It takes the weight off our shoulders. It stops our minds from being fried. It leaves us relaxed, free from worry. We focus on facts, not fiction. When you decide to trust God, one gets new strength and energy because we can let go of all the stories we make up in our head, which are not necessarily true. An example is how we focus on all the things we cannot do instead of focusing on all the things we can do and are doing. We focus on the real truth presented to us in the Bible and we listen and believe what God tells us. We can change the stories in our head to stories that will result in peace, calm, joy, acceptance, etc. Then we will feel good and feel that we are soaring through life in a much better way. It is God's way. Here are a few verses that help us along the way. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Isaiah chapter 43 18 to 19. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Reflection. Scripture always speaks to the soul more than any human words. It can heal us, melt hearts, show us a new perspective, etc. God sees right into our hearts, so he knows exactly what we need and when we need it. As Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 tells us, For the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow, it exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. Here are some scripture verses to think about. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. John 8 36 So, if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. John 8, 32 And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Psalm 124, verse 7 We have escaped, like a bird, from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we have escaped. John eleven, forty. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God. Isaiah 60 verse 1 Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Matthew six twenty six. Look at the birds of the air and they do not sow, nor reap, nor gather into barns and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. 
are you not worth much more than they? In the Gospel of Matthew, the parable is as follows. The kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field, which indeed is smaller than all seeds, but when it is grown, it is greater than the herbs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and lodge in its branches. Matthew chapter 13 verses 31 to 32. Reflection. This speaks to me about our faith. Like a seed, it grows unnoticed to us. But over time, we change and we start to see things differently. Everything changes around us for the better and we want more as our faith strengthens. Our faith becomes greater, more important than what is going on around us. As we begin to understand what faith is, as written in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, faith shows the reality of what we hoped for. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. Also, faith is infectious and people come to learn from other people's knowledge to help their own faith to deepen and the wonderful thing is there is always more to learn. Our faith based on the Eucharistic Jesus and scripture combined is a powerful source available to us each day. It is always our free will. Help us, Jesus, to free our will and open ourselves up to you more and more, starting from today. Romans 6, 22. But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness and the result is eternal life. The Bible talks a lot about sin. It is a word I never liked much, and I am not alone in that. I could say I did not really understand it. Today I understand what sin is through reading the Bible and the negative impact it has on our lives. So I have no problem calling sin, sin today. It was due to my own ignorance and lack of education around the Bible, why I failed to comprehend it. I now, I now find from reading the Bible, I have a very different viewpoint and now see what Jesus is asking of us and why. And of course, like everything Jesus said, it is for our own benefit. So now sin to me is just becoming aware of anything in my life that just is not good for me and comes between me and God. It can be my behaviour, it can be my thoughts. And being able to go to confession and to have a clear conscience is a wonderful thing. It is so freeing, taking me back to the bird soaring in the sky. Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 For freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm therefore and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Please like, subscribe and share so we can all live our wonderful Catholic faith together in all its, riches, its richness. Next painting, very very soon, Watch this space. Until then, remember, scripture is powerful.